One of the first formal studies of the phenomenon was at Harvard Medical School in the year 2000. Participants played the game for seven hours each, spread over the course of three days. Remarkably, 63% of the participants, almost two-thirds, reported seeing imagery from the game hours after they finished playing, often just as they were falling asleep. This fact on its own was newsworthy. But even more surprising, amnesic patients with brain damage that prevents them from forming new memories also reported seeing game imagery well after they'd finished playing. These participants were unable to recall having ever played the game, but their descriptions matched those of players with perfect memories. Blocks. They all saw blocks. Falling through space, sometimes rotating or fitting neatly into empty spaces between other blocks. Some participants also reported seeing completed lines disappearing. of fee and flipping death. You look like you've seen a ghost. That's the spirit. Comes a heartfelt story in VR. I'm sorry I panicked. I've never seen anything like you before. About trying to keep life together. <laughs> it's time for television, man. With a little help from a very big <sighs> friend. Whoa. But really, who are you? See here real soon, okay? Just hold still. Don't believe his eyes. Okay, now you 
comfortable. I know this rig's a bit cumbersome, but that's always the way with these new prototypes, huh? And all you have to do is just... just be. I know things haven't been so great lately, okay? So I do. Big ben. I've been a lousy father, huh? I'm unable. Lousy husband, too. You should go to sleep. You've seen how rotten that's gotten, huh? But all that is gonna change. We're all gonna be together. All of our hard work. Reverse the process. All of our sacrifices. That's my gift to you. Us. Help me! Help me! Please! Why are you doing this? I love you, son. I love you with all of my heart. Aren't you excited? You're going to be a fairy. And live in the world where time stands still. Where nobody can see what you're up to ever again. from Squanch Games and the co-creator of Rick and Morty. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Bathtub Guy and we're here at E3 to take some looks at this new game I'm about to show you right now. Trover Saves the Universe. Let's give it a look. Oh, whoa, whoa, there's some action platform stuff in this little piece of shit. I'm the bathtub guy, I'm always in my bathtub, but you know, it's not about me right now. It's about this game. Whoa, look at that. That's exciting footage I just saw. Oh, I'm playing it right now. Look at me. I'm a cool cucumber over here playing this cool game. Oh, 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 oh. 
Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Somebody call seven one one because that's the emergency dial number for this in this re weird part of the galaxy. Because this is a sci-fi based thing. Help! He's got electrocuted. PlayStation.